Okay guys, so I finished making the recall system. It was actually really easy in the end. Um, it would require a little bit more for the middle three floors, but I can show you how to do it for the top and the bottom floor. And it would work regardless of where the cab is, okay? So here's the cab. Cab's at the bottom right now. And I'm at the top, say. So what I'm going to do is hit this button and it will recall. And what that button's doing is it's hitting three more buttons. And these three buttons, rec recall, deploy, so it'll set every single floor, <clears throat> if I just change everything to show you, that's how it would be when deployed. So the arrows here have gone down and then it's gone in, so that's what the rails would look like. So if I go here and use this one, that is going to change the rails, all the rails, to... So that way and then when it gets to the end it's gonna bounce because I'm supposed to do it all three at once hang on Hup. there so now that's been done oh yeah that's right I've just flipped it as well haven't I there you go so off we go and when we get to the end if I spotted a bug what have I done there's a bug it's a bug Yes, it's a bug, because it needs to go out and then and then down. In fact, why does that one... Yes, this one should be up. Up, up, up. Ascend spine. Huh, that's weird didn't seem to do its job. Now it's working, anyway. And then this one as well, for the last step is that one, to make sure that they all go right on the top rail. And all you do is I've gone this, deploy floors, so you can see the purple lines. Any floor that the cab's on, it's going to change the rail to push it left. And then the middle one, of course is the spine making everything go up and then finally the last the third button that it's doing is left is right but only for the top rail so you're pre-programming a, a, a course for the cart there we go that will start to recall to the ground floor no matter what floor it's on and obviously if you wanted this to work for uh, the middle floors you'd need you need an additional one of these <clears throat> for descent I finally finished the recall circuit and um, uh, it, it's actually quite interesting because there's no gates no no logic gates at all on this um, <clears throat> and it doesn't need to complete its con uh, its command so say I want to I want the lift to come here I'm going to activate that and it's going to change the route so that it'll funnel into this area here. Oh, that's interesting, we've some bugs. Let's see, with that one. Interesting. Got one block facing the wrong way. I bet I missed a link. See, if I miss a link, it all messes up. Yeah, look, no link there. V. And there we go. Off it goes. Right, beautiful. So while the lift's coming towards us, I can actually say, oh, but actually I want it to come to this floor. And it'll just forget what we what it was doing and reroute. So it works a lot like a rail sex a, a rail signals box. So what you're doing is you're switching the rails and then the cart just goes wherever it's told to go. But uh, the beauty of it is that it you can call it here and as you can see with the arrows the arrows indicate the route there so it doesn't matter what floor it's on it'll always go to the floor it's being recalled to and the beauty is as well if there was someone on it he can override it by pushing the buttons in the wall too so it's really quite interesting 
And if you wanted to have individual controls or multiple carts, all you'd have to do is rethink how the switching's done. But at the moment, for a one cart system on five floors, this works perfectly. So I could uh, call the elevator to this floor here. And it's going to go along. And I hope you can see the pattern there. A lot of people were wondering how you get that. You have to have 64-bit default because this is a dev build and obviously the textures haven't been done yet. They're not going to look like big yellow painted arrows forever. So like I say, um, for the top floor and the bottom floor, it was actually really easy to set this up. But for the middle three floors, it needed some additional... Because um, as you can see, you've got to go down and up. So we've got down arrows on the spine to the floor and then up arrows on the spine up to the floor that you want. And then finally, a little little subtleties. If you're pulling it in off the rail, you don't you only want the arrow to go in. So you'd stop there. You wouldn't change the middle one here. So and then obviously if you want to draw in this way. You're not going to have a down arrow there or an up arrow there. You're going to have a right arrow. Take it down that fork. And that's pretty much it. Um, there really isn't else. There is really isn't much else to it. Um, but like I say, it was just an additional step. So I've left this all open so you can see exactly where all the links go. Um, and because of the way this is done, there's no sort of spammy logic everywhere if I just look all there is is links between activation blocks and rails and then links between activation blocks and rails again like these ones for the recall are separate from the actual running of it so time to have a little walk about I'm gonna go in my little rail cart and uh, see what we can do so into the gravity there we go Hey. So let's deploy the elevator. Might need to change all these buttons to auto turn off buttons. And then I want to go up to the top floor. When we get to the top floor, I'm going to hit that one. There we go. And there it is. I'm on the top floor. I can walk about, do stuff, accidentally fall off the building, uh, go all the way down to the bottom floor and hit the button. And with any luck, the cart's going to come down to me. And that's pretty much it. And uh, I've tried to make this as basic as possible so it's easily expandable. But there's no real limit with what you can do with this. You could use it for parking, automated docking, um, putting things away. Or you can use it for long distance mass transit on your stations and, sh and, uh, and, and so on. Hup. It's kind of cool having something like this in a ship um, up and I want to come along this way uh -huh. oh no it's the wrong floor so we go along here up and I want to go on this one <laughs> whoops oh well and then, there we go. There's not even a gap. That's what I like about it. There's no gap. This is one of the things I didn't like about this. It's like, ah! But it's okay. Because there's, there's solutions for that. But yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to show you today. Oh my god, what, 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 what? Wait a minute, what? Bugs? Oh, I'm in gravity of the... <laughs> I was in gravity of the lift. Even though I wasn't in the lift. And so when it started moving, it started moving my gravity. So yeah, that was interesting. Alright, well, there it is, guys. That's my... Oh, God, don't get squished. 
That is my uh, gateless, modular, expandable uh, five floor, well it doesn't matter how many floors, you can infinite floor elevator with recall system using only activation blocks and rails. That's it. So there it is. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.